today we're taking a trip to England, a very ancient place with a lot of history. But what kind of unknown evils lurk there? Let's find out. The Black Dog has a long association with malevolence and darkness. Throughout history it has reoccurred within British folklore narratives as an omen of doom or evil. It has been variously described as a shapeshifter, a ghost, a hellhound, and even Satan himself. The tale Black Shark is a particularly prominent story that sits within the Black Dog paranormal tradition. Hailing from East Anglia, Black Shark forms part of the folklore of Norfolk, Suffolk, Cambridgeshire and Essex. Although the description of Black Shark varies widely across these counties, all local stories claim him to be a large black dog with a terrifying visage. In 1577, Black Shark was said to have attacked two separate churches on the same day, August 4th. According to legend, the Holy Trinity Church at Blithborough in Suffolk was the first to be attacked. Whilst a congregation of Christians worshipped, Black Shark burst through the church doors, proceeding along the aisle, randomly killing several of the local people seated there. Before it left, it let out a blood-curdling howl, causing the steeple of the churches to collapse. When the worshippers had recovered their sense enough to inspect the damage, they found scorch marks on the church door, where the hound had laid its paws. Later in the day, Black Shuck appeared ten miles away in the same village of Bungie, Suffolk. The incident was described by Abraham Fleming, a clergyman, scholar and writer, who published his account of the attack on St. Mary's Church at Bungie in the same year that it was alleged to have occurred. According to Fleming, Black Shuck again burst through the doors of the church and proceeded to run throughout the building, causing mayhem and damage in the holy building. Eventually, the diabolical creature confronted a group of trapped worshippers who had been deep in prayer when the hound first entered the church. With one mighty swipe of its paw, the demon dog felled two men, breaking their necks with little effort. Black Shuck fled leaving the devastation and death in his wake. Although the accounts of Black Shark from the 16th century are the most famous reports of this strange and dangerous cryptid, East Anglia has an abundance of similar accounts, with many coming from modern times. Allegedly, a stretch of the A10 motorway in Cambridgeshire is said to be heavily haunted by a large spectral black dog although some allege the haunting ceased in 1906. Reports from witnesses persist to the present day, with drivers saying that the enormous creature kept pace alongside their motor vehicle as they drove at 60 miles an hour. Near the town of Lyme Regis, in Dorset, stood a farmhouse that was haunted by a black dog. This dog never caused any harm, but one night the master of the house, in a drunken rage, tried to attack it with an iron poker. The dog fled to the attic, where it leaped out through the ceiling. And when the master struck the spot where the dog vanished, he discovered a hidden cache of gold and silver. The dog was never again seen indoors, but to this day it continues to haunt at midnight a lane which leads to the house, called Hay Lane, or Dog Lane. Dogs who are allowed to stray in this area late at night have often mysteriously disappeared. A bed and breakfast in Lyme Regis is named the Old Black Dog, and part of the legend states that the man who discovered the treasure used it to build an inn that originally stood on the site. The Black Dog of Newgate has said to haunt the Newgate prison for over 400 years, appearing before executions. According to legend, in 1596, a scholar was sent to prison for witchcraft, but was killed and eaten by starving prisoners before he was given a trial. The dog was said to appear soon after, and although the terrified men killed their guards and escaped, the beast is said to have hunted them down and killed them wherever they fled. Grim, or Fairy Grim, 
is the name of the shape-shifting fairy that sometimes took the form of a black dog in the 17th century pamphlet, The Mad Pranks of Merry Jest of Robin Goodfellow. He was also referred to as the Black Dog of Newgate, but though he enjoyed frightening people, he never did any serious harm. In the village of Northorpe, in the West Lindsay district of Lincolnshire, the churchyard was said to be haunted by a bar guest. Some black dogs are said to be human beings with the power of shape-shifting. In another nearby village, there lived an old man who was reputed to be a wizard. It was claimed that he would transform into a black dog and attack his neighbor's cattle. It is uncertain if there is any connection between the bar guest and the wizard. In the parish of Tring, Hertfordshire, a chimney sweep named Thomas Colley was executed by hanging in 1751 for the drowning murder of Ruth Osborne whom he accused of being a witch. Collie's spirit now haunts the side of the gibbet in the form of a black dog, and the clanking of his chains can also be heard. In one tale, a pair of men who encountered the dog saw a burst of flame before it appeared in front of them. Big as a Newfoundland, with the usual burning eyes and long sharp teeth, after a few minutes it disappeared either vanishing like a shadow, or sinking into the earth. Whether or not you believe the black shuck is real or not, I still think I'm going to look over my shoulder the next time I'm strolling through the British countryside. Thank you for listening. If you like what you heard, consider subscribing so you never miss a creepy story.